Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Mackay from Analog Wonderland and today I am here to talk about our birthday film, our fifth birthday film, Wonder Pan 400. Whether you are new to film photography or a long time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! So what is Wonderpan 400 and why have we produced it? Well, back in May, it was our fifth birthday as an organization. Started back in 2018, myself and Mary, my mum, started Analog Wonderland with the goal of helping to make film photography fun and accessible for everyone. And five years on, it felt like a pretty big milestone. So myself and the team thought, how can we um, do something a little bit different that is also against that original objective of making things fun, accessible, and also maybe uh, helping us and the community learn something new, a new technical skill, and also just have a bit of fun. So that's what it was about, really. Um, fun, inspiration, and a little bit of learning. And first and foremost, the fun comes through, hopefully, with the artwork. Um, this is Emma's uh, brainchild. I don't know how many people remember or had a Nintendo DS uh, with the game Cooking Mama. But that was sort of the starting point of if we're going to make a film, I mean, it's got to be a pun. It doesn't have to be a pun, but puns help. So Wonder Pan, it's a pan-chromatic film. So Wonder Pan made sense, Cooking Mama, sort of Nintendo stylish artwork all came together in a film that is now packaged with grain never tasted so good. Now, of course, we do not own a film factory. you will be shocked to hear, or yet. Who knows? Give us another five more years. No, um, we don't own a film factory, so clearly we could not make this from scratch ourselves. Um, so we've worked with one of our favorite film suppliers to repurpose one of their emulsions. Now I'm saying repurpose because what we have done is we've taken a film that is normally shot around ISO 100 and we have de-coded it so your camera will recognize it as this and branded it as an ISO 400 film which takes us on to that point I was saying about learning something new specifically pushing film so you may have heard about pushing film before you may be an expert um, in which case please do help by correcting any mistakes I make in the comments below pushing film uh, is a technique that is used when you shoot a film at a higher ISO than it would be at box speed. So um, what that does is it tells the camera it's a more sensitive film than it is. The camera will then underexpose the film versus its typical speed that it would shoot. And then what you have to do in developing is you have to try and compensate for that. Now really simply sort of underexpose, overdevelop to get back to an image that is uh, sort of reasonably well balanced. Now it's not as simple as that. Because if you're doing that, then why bother at all? And also that sounds like chemical magic, that you can just use less light and it doesn't make any impact. Of course it makes an impact. But that's where the fun comes in. So you shoot Wonderpan 400, and it will give you a different look, very different look, than if you shot the base emulsion at around 100, as, uh, as, as that manufacturer produces it. Which ties in quite nicely with, personally, how I like shooting black and white film, because what it tends to do is it tends to pump up the contrast, it tends to increase the grain slightly, um, and I am a self-professed contrast junkie. So what you will get if you shoot one to pan 400 is lovely dark blacks, a bit of contrast, a bit of gray, and hopefully you're seeing some sample photos cycle through here. Some of our, our lovely community folk got their hands on a sample earlier, shot it, and um, again, have written up their results. Um, and you can see that they're, they're still beautiful, beautiful photos. So if you've never pushed film before, then this is a really lovely opportunity to do it without having to worry about it too much. Because not only is it DX coded ready for ISO 400 for your camera, and if your camera doesn't read DX codes, don't worry, just set it at 400 and shoot it as normal. You can then send it into our lab. There's actually a slightly discounted developing package from the Wonderpan product page. There's also a tech sheet if you want to use another lab or want to do it at home. So of course, we're not trying to keep hold of this <laughs> all for ourselves. But if you send that into us, or if you use those tech sheet formulations, they are the correct developing recipes for this film pushed to 400 speed. So you should get the results that you can see on the sample photos, uh, on the product page, on the website reviews where people have done this before, and getting that really lovely look. So there we go. So if you shoot at 
by 400 and then use those developing recipes or send it in to us, then you have pushed film for the first ever time. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy the experience. I hope you enjoy the different look that it will give your photos, that stronger contrast, that, uh, that darker shape. So the ideal thing for me is to then look for things that are not too contrasty already, because then you might throw it way out, um, but things that are reasonably well lit, reasonably well balanced to start with, and then really dramatic shapes look good. In fairness, portraits look really good as well. There's some indoor photo shots that, um, where the character really comes to life, which is lovely as well. Um, there's lots of things you can do to experiment or frankly just enjoy the amazing artwork that Emma and Karen worked on. It's a beautiful collection edition, it's limited edition, we're doing it for our birthday, when it's gone it's gone and a third of it I think is already gone when I'm recording this, <laughs> which is probably a week before you're seeing it. So um, yeah, if you fancy joining in on the great pushing experiment, celebrating our fifth birthday or frankly you just love the look of Chef Ambrosia who sits on the front then please do get involved. Let us know what you think. Let us know what uh, results you get, whether you like it, whether you think you'll be pushing more film in the future as part of your creative toolkit. And um, thank you so much for getting involved.